Hello friends, welcome to the 47th episode of Joomla 2.5 Custom Component Development Series. In the previous episode, we have learned how to create subcontroller and we have created our subcontroller in the back end. In this episode, I will show you how to create subcontroller in the front end. Okay, so let's start. So we have already one existing component that is com underscore open chat. So it has two parts one is back end and another is front end so we have already uh, explained the back end portion so uh, today i will explain the front end section so in the front end components com underscore open chat there you can see the controller is present so here we have to create one controllers folder so let's create a folder controllers controllers so inside these controllers we can create several sub controller so let's create a file subcontroller file call it uh, blog so let's save this give blog.php so uh, so we have created this file now we have to follow some naming convention to create this uh, subcontroller class so let's see what is the naming convention so main controller class name now controller keyword then sub controller class okay so at first um, let's start we have to restrict the outside access by defined underscore j e x c -S -E or die access deny okay now we will create this class using this naming convention so let's check what is the main class name so open your controller.php so here you can see open chat is the main controller class name so open chat after that we have to give the controller keyword and then our class name so the file name is blog so subcontroller name will be blog okay which will extends j controller now here we can create we can define subcontroller methods okay so here we will define methods like save post so function save echo save new post delete first like this we can define so function delete so echo delete first so in this way we can define several fu uh, functions in our subcontroller so how do we call this function so let's go to the front end normally we will call our component like index.php question mark we have to mention our component name option equal to com underscore open chat and task so if you mention the task equal to something so by default it will call the main controller class so here is the main controller so if I write the chat so here you can see it's called the main controller but if you want to mention the subcontroller if you have to call the subcontroller function then we have to mention the subcontroller name so what is our subcontroller that is blog so we have to at first we have to mention that blog now which function of that controller then dot then that function that is save so now here you can see save new first is calling so if I call like the delete so here you can see delete first in this way you can implement several functionalities also we can stop the template like this j factory get if you want just only your output close so it will not display the templates so uh, delete we can see the templates but if I call save so here you can see just our content okay so in this way you are able to create the back front end subcontroller so we have learned in the previous 
tutorial previous episode that how to create the backend subcontroller now we have learned how to create the frontend subcontroller in the next episode i will show you how to create toolbar like this like new edit publish etc and we will attach our subcontroller to each of this button so when somebody will click on the new we will call one subcontroller which somebody will click edit we will call another subcontroller in this way we can control so thanks for watching this tutorial and if you have any question suggestion please write comment below this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you have a good day